What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel and welcome to some Need for Speed 2015. It's been a little while since I ended up going on this game. I downloaded it yesterday and I wanted to make a video on it just for the sake of making a video on it. I just haven't played it in a while and I felt like I was... I, I just wanted to play it. That's pretty much it. That is the only reason. And there is also a reason why I'm gonna be like driving this uh, A86. Um, now starting off, Need for Speed Payback is coming out very, very soon. I will be getting the game. I will be either making a Let's Play on it. I'll probably make a Let's Play on it. Um, and then I'll also be doing a bunch of other stuff like I have with this game. A lot of customization, a lot of tuning, building different types of cars for different reasons and all sorts of stuff. Now that we have a bunch of different types of classes for the cars as well, which we have like off-road and rally. Uh, we have like dragsters. We have... Uh, drift cars. We have like loads of different types of cars that we can uh, we can mess around with and actually modify in different types of ways in Need for Speed Payback. And I'm very very excited about that. Since this is only street racing, the other game is uh, more focused on like every type of racing. I guess you could say like there's drag racing, there's drifting, there's off road. Like I said, there's a bunch of other stuff that we can uh, customize our cars for. So that's very very exciting to do that. But one thing. That this game does have that Need for Speed Payback is not going to have is Toyotas. Now, Toyota is apparently not going to be part of Need for Speed Payback. There is going to be no Toyota cars in that game. I don't know what's going on with the um, with the whole Toyota thing because Forza isn't allowed to have them either. But I think Toyota can still be in Gran Turismo Sport. So I don't know if they made a specific deal or they have a specific contract with Gran Turismo Sport. But I think they might do. Um, I don't know. Also, I have already tuned one of these, or I've already modified one of these in the past, and what I'm gonna end up doing this time, I know, it's kind of sacred to, to, to get rid of the pop-up lights, I'm gonna turn it into a, uh, into a, uh, Corolla 11 instead of the Treno. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead, um, for this time. I know I've already, like I said, I've already done a build on this before, and I left it as the, or the Treno, and, uh, I just kind of want to turn it into 11 for it, for, for some reason, so. Uh, I'll add this kit on it. It's kind of simple. It's nice looking. It's not terrible. Uh, to be honest, some of these are looking decent. To be honest, like just as like pretty much tuning this as, like a like a race car because if you guys have seen any sort of like proper Japanese race cars that are just the eight eight six. Oh my god, they look so so good, and they all have like crazy crazy kits on them and everything. So they look amazing, and uh, this sort of suits it, which is what I'm probably gonna end up doing today. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna end up tuning this for. But uh, it will be... I can't even add a splitter, I don't think I can, not with this kit. I'm just going to end up tuning it, like just adding stuff to it that I think looks decent. And uh, I just wanted to turn it into a Corolla instead of the uh, keeping it as a Treno. I just wanted to turn it into 11 and see what that is going to be like, because I've never done that in this game. So, let's go ahead and pretty much just add a bunch of stuff to it. I'll put the street style mirrors on, I guess, since... Uh, since I'm turning this into somewhat of a race car. Uh, it does need a big massive wing on it as well. And, uh, we'll change a bunch of stuff there anyway. Actually, I, I'm not even going to add a wing to it. I actually do prefer uh, some of these. Let's go ahead and add the origin kit on it. But yeah, that's basically the main reason why I wanted to make this uh, this video today. There is not going to be any Toyotas in uh, Need for Speed Payback, which is pretty dreadful, to be honest. It's kind of annoying not having, obviously, the Supra, the 8.6, the GT86. I mean, we could still have the BRZ and the FRS for that, but I mean, like, those are the most important, like, cars in this game. Uh, that we can, you know, we could have had in the other game as well, but whereas we can't anymore. So I don't really know. I will add, or I'm not even going to add, I'm going to remove the rear bumper as well. It just makes it a lot more interesting. Actually, I'm not going to do that. That just looks terrible. Um, I might keep either the standard bumper or add the origin kit. Because the origin kit looks kind of nifty. I don't I don't really know, to be honest, what else I could add on this. Actually, the race style bumper looks really good as well. Nice and clean looking. I will add a big badass exhaust onto this thing. A nice... 3 inch tilted exhaust. Actually, these look really good as well. The dual tips. I've never actually gone twin pipes on a, on an 8.6. I think I might do it this time because they actually do look pretty good and they, they match the bumper and everything. So I might do that. They are massive for this thing, by the way. Um, all right, let's change some wheels. Let's have a look. Uh, the Watanabe wheels always suit this thing, but I'm not going to go with those this time. Uh, like I said, I've, I have done this in the past and obviously these are my favorite wheels to put on this car. But uh, I'm going to change to something else. Hopefully I can find something decent to add on this thing. Just so I can make it look a little bit more interesting. Alright, so I went with these Rays. Uh, RE30s, Club Sport 2s. I'm not going to uh, keep the size. It was, it was this size, by the way, in the, like before. So I'm going to go ahead and 
make them a little bit smaller. Um, and then I'll mess with the paint and all that sort of stuff a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and mess with the break this. I should break this, they're fine. Break calipers, we can put some brembos on this thing. Uh, make it look decent. And then I'll do the same thing with the rear. Now for the tires, I am going to give it some normal tires. I'm not going to give it stretch tires. I'll probably keep the Need for Speed tires on, to be honest. Uh, why the hell not? Uh, and then I'll do the same thing with the front as well with the tires. Just give it normal. Need for speed tires not stretched. Um, let's see if I can find these. There you go, regular need for speed tires. And then we're going to have to mess with the sounds of this thing because it's very, very tall at the moment. So let's bring this down. I, I honestly really do miss doing builds on this thing. Like just, just of any car in this game. They actually do look really, really good. I'm going to track it at the back a little bit out. A uh, tiny bit of camera on the front and then I'll keep the rear flat and it looks not too bad to be completely honest i will go ahead and download a paint for this thing just so i can see what people have created because uh there's always some really really nice creations in this game uh of people's like paints and stuff like that so let's have a look and see uh, of course the first one has to be yep i knew it i knew this was gonna happen the very first one was gonna be this uh i'm not gonna choose this i will obviously choose something else but uh let's have a look see what else is around here that we can add on this this doesn't look too bad doesn't look terrible. Alright, I deleted the design and I added this one on. Uh, that is pretty sick. Now, I think what I'm going to end up doing is adding a bit of power to this thing. Because right now, it's only at 122 horsepower. I don't think that's going to be fun to drive in a video game. <laughs> Alright, I finished this thing off at 555 horsepower. I wanted to keep it NA, so I left the turbo. How much is it if I do a turbo? 800 horsepower! Yeah, I'm just not going to do that. I didn't expect this thing to go this high. Just from adding just a couple of parts to it. Um, I expected around 300 horsepower. I didn't expect 500, so this is kind of weird having this much power in this thing. Anyway, I'll keep it the way it is for now. I will go ahead and bring most of this over to drift, just because I do want to slide it around a little bit more. Uh, brake drift assist is on because I'm terrible at this game. Drift stability assist, again, the same. Uh, differential, I'm going to just end up blocking that completely. Brake bias is fine. Or brake strand is fine, brake bias is fine as well. Entire traction, obviously, because this has um, the grippy tires, I ended up doing that. I'm going to stiffen the suspension just a little bit. Sway bars and the um, and the springs and everything else is pretty much fine. Manual gears, I can't change that. Oh yeah, because I, I turned them. Wait, I don't remember turning manual gears off. I legit just played, like right now, and I was doing a, a few track races. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and drive this thing. Alright, so here's the finished product right now, driving it around, trying to crash into anything, um, it's honestly pretty agile, and it, I'm happy I still remember how to sort of tune my cars in this game, because this game loves to make you try and drift every time you press your brake, so tuning this thing for drifting, even though it's not really tuned for drifting, I kind of wanted to make it just drive well and be able to control it really easy. It's a good thing I ended up putting this setup on it because it actually does drive alright. The tires and everything. With 500 horsepower, you would expect this thing to just slide its rear wheels a lot. It just doesn't. I did not NOS either, so there's that. And honestly, it's just, it, it really does drive pretty well. And I'm honestly surprised because this game is terrible. I mean, physics-wise. It's just it's just not good at all. And I'm honestly surprised I managed to make a car that I can somewhat control pretty well. And that's why I ended up uh, tuning it like this. Alright, you know what? I'm going to keep it dead center. What the hell was that? What was that? Was that a bird? I think <laughs> I think I almost just hit a bird. Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to go into, um, into snapshot mode. How do I even do that? I can't even remember. I think you just do this. There you go. Just snapshot mode. Let's have a look and see what these look like. How do I uh, make this thing a little bit brighter? There you go. Do that. Bring the exposure up a little bit. It looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. I do think that this turned out quite a uh, quite all right for for the little quick build that I decided to do on this thing. Well. That is it for this car. Uh, I just wanted to sort of make a quick video playing this game. I haven't played it in a while. I wanted to make a video talking a little bit about Need for Speed Payback and sort of the way there's not going to be any Toyotas in the game. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to do a nice quick little build on an 8.6 and see how it'll turn out. So this is pretty much 
what I came up with. Again, like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. And I just felt like I wanted to hop back on and see what I can possibly do in this game. So I just wanted to uh, I wanted to build a car. And that's pretty much what I ended up doing. Anyway, that is pretty much it from me. Tell me in tell me in the comments down below if you guys are gonna end up getting Need for Speed Payback and uh, it, what do you want me to do with the game whenever I do get it? Do, uh, do you guys want to see uh, like a let's play on it? Do you guys want to see builds and stuff like that? I did say that I was probably gonna do a let's play on it. If you guys want me to do a let's play on it, I'll do it like I have done with this game when this was out, uh, brand new, and obviously the builds are gonna come as well. Because again, there's gonna be a lot of different types of builds that we can possibly do in the game for the cars. So, you know, obviously with the different classes like I've mentioned before. So it's gonna be really fun to see what I could do build-wise with, uh, with all the cars, all the different types of cars that are in the game as well. There's gonna be supercars, like classic cars, there's gonna be sports cars, little just Japanese cars as well. Except... Toyota, there's not going to be any Toyotas in the game, um, but uh, damn, I'm honestly really surprised how well this thing drives, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, that's where I'm going to end up uh, finishing off this video for now, but anyway, thank you guys again for watching, and I will talk to you next time, goodbye. <laughs>